Hi there Battle Tech and Mech Warrior fans, welcome back to another video. We're going to have a quick look at doing basing, so we're going to basing Battle Tech Mechs. Um, as I said in another video, I wasn't a really big fan of uh, basing Battle Tech figures. I'll do it for my Warhammer uh, figures for Warcry Kill Team 40k. And it was just, you know, I've seen a lot of videos and um, the basing on some mechs looks really, really good. So I decided to give it a go. You've seen some of these mechs before where I've done the basing. Uh, just there, you can see that. And it's and it turns out quite nicely, actually. So I do like it. Um, so I've been doing it. Um, I showed you how to airbrush uh, this camo scheme. And from that, I based this one here from that set of four, that lance. So what we're going to do is I've got this awesome here and we're going to show you how to base him. So what do we need for basing this? I've got some PVA glue. Uh, it's wood glue. This, this is cheap. You can just get it from any pound store or anything like that or your local sort of supermarket. I've got my basing material here. This is a sort of fine grain sand. Um, then I've got flock. It's not normally green flock as such. It's been mixed in with some red and yellow. I like the different sort of colour hues that you get. So it's not just a, a straightforward uh, a green. And this is quite fine as well because these mechs are supposed to be like 10 metres tall. So I, I didn't want the grass coming out and looking very sort of odd in terms of uh, scaling and everything else. Then I've got some rocks here that I'll be using to add uh, a little bit of a uh, feature. I did it on this one here. So all you do is just glue it and then just paint it grow. I've just got to finish off the highlights on that. But you can see how it just adds something else to the base itself. And then I've got this foliage. So this foliage here, you buy it in clumps like this. Uh, it's a bag full of green foliage. And um, this is just shrubbery and bushes, really. Um, I didn't want it to be anything not in like tufts or anything because I think that the scale doesn't seem to kind of work too well. So um, just take off little bits with a tweezer. Make sure they sort of like sit flat the way you want them to. Um, and then you can arrange them as needed. Um, then also I've got a solution of diluted uh, sort of tacky glue, PVA glue, wood glue. This will help uh, towards the end when we want to fix the actual basin um, material to the base itself. Um, I'm just going to caveat, I'm not expert. I'm just showing you that if somebody like me can do this, then anybody can do it. You know, I, I've, I thought basing was complicated because... There were so many issues like you've got to get it right, you've got to use the right materials, you might have it dry, it might flake off, it'll, it'll pull apart, it'll go everywhere, I'll make a mess, the models look horrible, all these sort of things. And I, you know, I do tend to think a lot about things like this. So I just want to show you it's really straightforward and simple. So without any sort of further uh, sort of procrastination, uh, let's get to it. So I've got some tools that I'll be using. So I've got like a little spatula, I've got a tweezer and a syringe as well. I've got my glue here that I'm going to be using. So all I'm going to do is take the glue and apply it to the base of the mech. Uh, just spread it out nice and evenly everywhere. Uh, no rhyme or reason to it um, because uh, this glue is really nice. It does take a while to set. And uh, once it does set, it really does bind the base material uh, solid. Which is really what you want. I'm making a meal of this as well while I'm doing it. It should be fairly straightforward. Now here I've got this nice thin end so I can just push the glue through to make sure it goes. Uh, and that's it. It's nicely covered. I've got it everywhere. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use two basic materials here. Uh, the grass and the sand. Because I want a bit of a gravel effect. So I'm going to put the gravel where I want to. And just pinch it around. Drop it in. I think that is a nice little um, way of just keeping it fairly natural. And then just a gentle turn it over and then tap it down. So it gets rid of the, any excess material. Nothing too heavy. And then for the next one, I'm just going to like dunk the base into this. So it gets it in between the legs in there. That's my dog there. If you, if you do hear him, Magnus, he's a Frenchie. Uh, get rid of the excess material. And that's just great. Now, once we've got that, looks really nice. Uh, with the tweezers, all I'm going to do is take one of the shrubs that I want. This one looks nice. Put it in the glue. And I'm just going to apply it there. That's all I want it to do is just set there nicely. 
and then I'll take one of the rocks so I'm going to use this one here make sure you you know you you decide which way you want it sat I think that way I want it sat that way and then just grab it and put it down and clean off the edges because it, the glue will dry hard and it is a real pain to get rid of afterwards because I want to paint the sides of this, the edges, black. Like I've done with these ones here. So just clean it away. Just get rid of that excess material. And you see it's, it's kind of solid already. Now all I'm going to do is get my solution. Put some in here. Now you can do one or two things here. You can either use an old brush. Uh, and drip the uh, solution um the, the diluted solution onto the base or i've got this syringe uh, which i can use and i just get that into the syringe i can just apply drops into this here and all you want is just a couple of drops and it will disperse on its own and it might run off the sides you just have to clean it make sure you do get it over the rock into the edges there and then you can just use that brush if you need to just make sure it goes don't move the material around because it still hasn't set or anything like i can just see there it's still dry it's looking dry at the top just put a little bit more down and it looks like there's a lot there i'm just going to let it pour away clean off the edges and that will dry and that will actually hold everything in place so you shouldn't have any issues when you're tabletop um, gaming with things coming off or it flaking away i've used this technique um probably over 100 times now already on a lot of the figures that i've done i've never had any issues whereas other models that i've come across you'll see them sort of flake towards the edges and sides and come away and that is it you can leave that to dry for about 12 hours overnight and then just go in with an abandoned black or any black that you want to use uh, around the edges and that's it it's done piece of pie uh straightforward and you can see the quality of these mechs that i've done they do look good um i think uh do let me know if you don't think they're any good i will try other effects and i'll probably do another video on using a simpler way um which is just um terrain type um basic material it's in a paint uh, texture paint that you can apply and that also looks great and it's a, just a much simpler way but let us know how you're getting on with, along with your hobby please do like and leave a uh, a comment down below uh, and do subscribe thanks again keep uh, safe and stay well bye